What's up folks, another fine stormy day in rural Saskatchewan today. I was uh, giving my my uh, top slide a little bit of uh, some TLC. When I bought this lathe, it came with some junk like that uh, die holder, my aforementioned die holder, and uh, and there's another cross feed, cross feed nut in there. However, this is most likely off of a 10F series, which is the more popular series. But it has like zero slop in there, like it's really nice. So I'm like looking at this and I'm thinking that uh, whittle that down, that'll like eliminate pretty much all of the backlash in my <laughs> compound. So it's pretty hard to pass that up. Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's head over to lathe. Welcome to my cross slide. <laughs> As you can see, like, oh, you're trying not to bump the camera. Like, that's, oh shit, it's right beside here, so. That is, like, really sloppy in there. Do you see that? Really bad. And that's, like, on new threads, like, guaranteed those threads have hardly been used. But the threads don't actually look that bad. I don't have a thread gauge or nothing, but they all look relatively good. It's just that, uh, that compound nut is. Is pretty much had the bun so I would very much like to swap that out you can see it's it's old as the hills even inside the threads there they are pretty uh, pretty worn out you visually speaking even so either today we're gonna make some scrap brass or we're going to uh, make a get a, a fancy uh, functioning compound nut All right, guys. So I got the just the part and the chuck. We still got to indicate it. I just want to show you the backlash in this thing. Like, it's uh, it's pretty bad. Like, so you, it's not moving. We got twenty thou backlash in there before it does anything. It's hard to see the freaking the dials even with the. There you go. So, so just about twenty thou there. Yeah, at least twenty thou. So yeah, that's that's unacceptable. So we're gonna we gotta fix that up. We're just gonna dial this in here. By I kind of lined it up half-assed with the tailstock, but we're gonna try we're gonna try to dial this part in here, and then we're gonna dial off the face too, so we get a nice uh, so the screw ends up nice and perpendicular. With this screw, I guess. There's our high spot. So we should be pretty close. Oh fuck, that's that's pretty close. <laughs> okay, so what is it? Loosen the lows, tighten the highs. So yeah, it's actually in there pretty loose right now. It's not the. Uh, I've never turned brass before, so holy shit, did I ever get that close? That's almost close enough right where it's at. I don't want to go too tight. It was just brass. I don't want to end up fucking it up. We only got one part to screw up, so this could be a short video. <laughs> it's in there pretty loose right now, so we can probably just keep tightening until we get it right. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy with it just yet. Uh, okay, give me a sec. I'm going to fix this, change this dial indicator up. This is a uh, little on the tedious side. Okay, I guess it wasn't really that tedious. It's kind of why I like putting it on the carriage, because then you can kind of dial it in right where you need it. Fit, get a bigger hammer. So I like this hammer, it's a nice little short handle on it, you kind of can get a little good drift out of it without very little movement. Oof. Well, something moved, I think the whole damn thing moved. Well, 
Well, I'm gonna have to call that close enough because I'm gonna end up uh, botching this if I keep whacking it around. We're gonna be facing that off anyway. I'm gonna check this one more time. All right, I think we're good enough. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. All right, so I guess, well, technically, if you just take 200 thou, or uh, not 200 thou, 120 thou off everything, it should be good. Well, I guess I'm gonna need the dial indicator again then. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, the old girl hasn't spun a chuck in a while. side and about 385 double check I think I shouldn't have took that off the front there but 374 was actually a smidge tight yeah I'm gonna say 385 375 and you take five thou off and then another five thou in and we should be done Use that brass turns nice. That should be it. I think we did it right. <laughs> Do, uh, anchor on the end there. We're still going to have to, uh, well, we might not even have to tap that. There still might be plenty of hole left there. <laughs> I guess there's nothing to do but to check, try it out and comp do the comparison. Well, so much for looking smooth like Barry White. It was actually, uh, I just got to take off another 108 thou, so I'll meet you back at the lathe. <laughs>
check her out. Should be 374. I hope. Three hundred seventy-five. Shit. Just kidding. That'll do. Click with the file. Screw that problem. Yeah. tap through her but that looks about the part right there all right we'll meet you at the bench yeah I don't know what bonehead measurement that was but yeah it's I got it right though it's uh pretty much bang on the money there hardly tell them apart except for one's got threads and one's hardly got any threads so I'm just gonna drill that out a little deeper and uh, run a tap through it. I might not even have to, to be honest. Yeah, I'll have to run a little bit of a tap through there. And drill it down another quarter inch or so. Very carefully as to not damage the other threads. I don't think I've ever tapped brass either. I've tapped a couple new things this, this week. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds dirty. Oh, I seriously, I tapped aluminum. Was like, never tapped aluminum before, because, like, well, why would you? I think that's all we got. This should be enough. It's a very short little screw, so... Oh yeah, we're good. We're golden. Golden, I say. Well, I'm gonna go try it out. Test, give her a test drive on the lathe. Be right back. Starts really good. Once it gets to there, she gets all fucking shitty. The threads are just dirty, maybe. Yes, yes, pretty good right there. Yeah, you know, that's right at the back of the threads. I bet you they're just a little bit of fucking crud in there. Because, yeah, they're kind of shitty up front here, too. Kind of crunchy in there, so, yeah, it could be just some shit in there. Years of gunk. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, she seems to be working in. One of those threads up there was damaged because some idiot put the tap through it. So, But we just drilled right through and I picked out the, the crap with the... Yeah, see, she's working better now. I picked out the crap with a, a form tool that I had kicking around. Yeah, so she just needs to be worked in, I think. Run her back and forth a few dozen times, she'll, uh, she'll chew up. Alright, here we go. Just it just needed to get broken in a little bit. Once the guy fixed that galled up thread, it wasn't too bad. So she's turning pretty nice now. A little stiff, but she'll wear in. Who turns it that far anyway? That's probably why it's so well brand new thread over there. Yeah, but for the most part it's good. We reduced the the twenty thou backlash to just under. Let's see here. It's turning so good. Geez, like five thou at the most. Here's our old one. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a good night. Peace out.